Christopher is a patient on a psychiatric ward and he has been admitted now for 27 days and he thinks he's about to be released. There are two psychiatrists who both have an opinion about his state of mind. Bruce, the young doctor who's been assessing him, doesn't believe that he should get out. His senior consultant, Robert, thinks that he should go. All three of them are kind of forced to kind of examine their own selves and their own beliefs and their own thoughts and feelings. It isn't just the character of Christopher who is being assessed and looked at. Each of them have flaws, each of them have strengths, weaknesses. You get a little glimpse into that world and you get to see what happens when someone gets sectioned and the decisions that get made. And sometimes those decisions are right and sometimes they're wrong. This is a play that is uh, at war over notions of, of what is racist and what isn't, what is madness and what isn't, what is just, what is the truth? What is somebody's identity and background and, and what's the veracity of that? Those are things that, we're, that we seem to be asking all the time now, which, which we weren't 20 years ago when it was written. I think it's important to see this story played out in this production because it's exquisitely written and is going to be beautifully performed with heartbreaking honesty. In an age in which too often we tell stories from just one perspective or make arguments from just one side of a debate, one of the things I think that is so remarkable about all of Joe's work is the way that he provides balance, perspective, two sides of a debate and really celebrates the raw ability of theatre to really create um, a forum in which ideas are dissected and discussed not reduced to 60 characters in a tweet, but really explored with all of the nuance and uh, bandwidth and detail that the complex themes of this play really demand. Because Blue Orange is a play that is extraordinarily prescient in the way that it talks about power and privilege in 2021. The way that it explores themes of how we govern ourselves, how the welfare state operates, what the NHS looks like, the way in which we think about identity in British culture, race, power, professionalism, class. This is an extraordinarily um, complex and nuanced piece of work that really invites the audience to enter that dialogue and to debate long after attending the show the various different themes and motifs that it's about.